Hey, greet you in the words of Assalamu alaikum. This is me, peace and blessings be upon you. And I'm with you both Jesus and Muhammad's names. Peace be upon them both. And I want to say hi this in cyberspace. People that's looking at this on YouTube, Facebook, press the share button. And bang, you know, I have a dynamic community activist. And I'm the first one to get the scoop in Chicago that he possibly would be running for mayor of where he lives at. Shalom. Shalom, bro. All right, brother, what's this mean. you running for mayor? What are you talking about? Well, I look, I look at it like this. I'm okay, first of all, thank you for accepting the invitation. Oh, okay. brother, I appreciate being here. Okay. I, uh, I look at, you know, the, the state of our people and how, you know, you grow up to be a man, you know, you grow up, you little boy, you play, you know, you run, you, you run around and you ski, you scar your knee up and everything. You go through your bumps and bruises as a young man growing mm -hmm. up. And, and if you, you, you're blessed enough, you can make it to become a grown man in society without getting gunned down, without going to prison, something like that. Some mm -hmm. of us make it through mm -hmm. that. Then we, if you, for those that do make it through all the madness and able to grow into a man, you join the military sometime, you do all this stuff in this country, you go to school, you get your degrees, uh, you're a model so-called citizen, but you still can't be a man. You still can't be in charge of your life. Mm -hmm. These white folks, the Europeans, they still got to be in charge to direct your life where you gonna get your food from, your water from, you know, your, how you where you where you can live, where you can have a business set, how many how many businesses you can have, what type of business you can have, all this madness. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, they shooting you down, gunning you down, they your organ trafficking going on, they snatching up our children, our women. Man, come on, man. it's just too much. I want to be in charge okay. of my life, and I don't see no way to do that, but to be standing in front of these Europeans. Let them know what I feel. This is the way I want my life to be. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's why I decided I was running for the top, the top person, or they say mayor. I say the top humanitarian to me because um, that's what a mayor's job is to me. It's to look after the people. It's to make sure that the people are, have what they need. That, to me, that's what a mayor is supposed to do. Okay, let me ask you, ask you this question. What city are you talking about that you're talking about running for mayor for? And what are your qualifications the city, to be mayor? The city is Benton Harbor, Michigan. Okay. Yeah. Now, my qualifications, I think that looking at Donald Trump. <laughs> make, make America great again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and, and play these individuals, I mean, look what they do. They get in there and they get in office and they just run whatever they're told to do. Okay. They just figureheads. That's all they do. Okay. They don't really make no real t serious rules, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when they do with something negative against the people, you know what I'm saying? It don't, what I'm saying is to be um, a successful, I would say mayor or whatever, you just have to have a care, a concern for the people. I've been a minister. In a church, I was ordained a bishop at the age of 25, 22 mm -hmm. years ago, and uh, I've organized uh, very large events for the temple. Mm -hmm. I was when I was in the military before the, the temple. Before I became a minister and a teacher and a bishop, I was in the military. They made me the point man. Everybody in the whole everything, even David. You know David Petraeus. You heard of David Petraeus, right? The CIA. Yes, I, I yes. Well, I know him personally. Okay. I was in his unit. Okay. And under his unit, I still was made the point man. Mm. So, and when they make you the point man, everybody has to put their life in your hand. Point man is able to see the enemy before anybody else can see him. Point man can see the booby traps before anybody else can see him. So the point man's job is not to just be in front, but the point man's job is to keep everybody, even themselves, alive. Mm -hmm. And not just alive, but to have no casualties at all on your side. Mm -hmm. That is what makes a good point, man. Mm -hmm. And the Europeans, they took us through a whole series of tests that you had to take to go through to pass these tests to make you that person they all trusted themselves with. What do you think, you know what, the individual, this is the mayor right now, um, I guess you would consider him your arch rival. And I don't know if you want to call him by name and give him credibility. But what is he doing that is inappropriate or not right in corrections that you would make if you become mayor of the city? Well, uh, we had a situation with a brother that we named Karate. Okay. And not named Karate, but 
That's the name he's been. Want to name the current yeah. mayor right now? You don't want to even give him the credibility. Yeah, his brother's Marcus Muhammad. Out of uh, <laughs> he's a brother from the Nation of Islam. Okay. Yeah, and he is the mayor of uh, the city of Ben Harbor. Okay. Time. Beautiful, beautiful family. The brother got. Uh, I ain't gonna say I mean shit. Beautiful wife, beautiful family. One of the most beautiful families in the city. Okay. Uh, I used to watch him play basketball. He's a lot younger than me. Uh, when I went to the military, I came back. I think he was playing basketball. The team was really doing good, about to make state. Okay. Uh, I used to go watch him play ball all the time. Excellent. Used to be his name Marcus Singer, but he's Marcus Muhammad now. Okay. Um, I haven't had any like run-ins with him or nothing like that. We've had any type of friction between us, but I don't. I don't think he handled the situation with uh, Brother Karate that well because Brother Karate, this brother was well known in the city among the young people. Under what situation? Can you let well, us Well this young know? brother was, uh, he was a community, community activist. Okay. He also knew karate. And the young people in the city respected him. You know, it's a lot of issues some, with some of the young people fighting a lot of stuff okay. like this. But anyway, let me tell you the power of karate. There was a big gang fight in the city. Okay. And the police officers couldn't do nothing to stop it. Nobody could do anything to stop it. But when Karate stepped on the scene, Karate just made some comment, commands out of from his mouth. Okay. And they fell in line. And they stopped fighting. You see. Now later on, there was something that went on. There was a conspiracy. Mm -hmm. And they hid everything. They saying that he shot at the police. But I believe he was set up by the authorities, the powers that be. Okay. And I believe that. Now, of course... They ain't gonna say that's what happened. But I have a strong hunch, knowing that the way the authorities work and when it comes down to us. Okay. And when they, they find you as a threat. He had what they figured to me to be too much power. The mayor didn't handle it properly. And I've been working with the woman, the sister, the mother, uh, periodically um, with uh, of, the, of the brother. Mm -hmm. And she let me know some, some things that she don't feel like it was handled properly. Plus. A lot of times, it's been several brothers of the last maybe 10, 15 years that they, they found in the river over there. So well, the mayor's well, not the mayor. The mayor's not doing a thorough job. He's not. He's, well, he works is at he, Toyota. Is he, is he a weak? He's a weak mayor. Uh, just an ineffective mayor. Well, I, I wouldn't. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to say he's weak mayor, but I want to say ineffective as when it comes down to indigenous people as a whole. Okay. He wants to be the mayor of everybody. But see, Whirlpool is there. Whirlpool has the headquarters there. Okay. And Jack Nicholas, the golfer, he's there too. Okay. And they together want to take the city and name it Harbor Shores instead of Benton Harbor, Michigan, which is named after a black male. Okay. They want to name the city Harbor Shores and take everything from the indigenous people. Whirlpool didn't even pay for water, but they tap in the water in, in the city. They don't pay taxes. Thank goodness a judge just, wow. a, just was able to overrule and they've been working there and had the business there, the headquarters there, and they've been paying taxes in all these years, for over 10 years. So they, 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 they putting that on the people that's not making that much money, the right. extra money that they would be paying. Right, So right. You, would, I, you would correct that in deficiency? Uh, I, would, that I would definitely make sure I, I put my every effort forward to do that and do it verbally in front of them. See, I, I'm more of a... I'm a right in their face type of guy. Mm -hmm. And Brother Marcus, you know, he's he's a little different than that. Is he passive? Right? <laughs> I would say to a certain extent he had to be. Okay. Be because uh, the things that are transpired in the city that have not been had. A lot of people in the city want to see him gone. Now, when he was the commissioner now in the city, he walked the streets of the city. He had love of the people. Mm -hmm. And... That's how he believed. I believe that's why why they put him into office. They were they were willing to vote for him to make him the mayor. But I believe the politics of me, you know, it, it's, it's difficult when you get behind that. Sometimes so when it. Sometimes they want to come so after you and things. In like essence, that. and you know what? Tell me if I'm misinterpreting what you're saying. You saying the current mayor? You basically saying he is sold out. That's what you really saying. Are you saying that? That is the vibe that is being given. Uh, it's, that's the vibe that's running through the city. The people believe that he has. There's a higher power that is stopping him from doing what he should be doing. Whether it's him willingly stopping or they're doing it behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's typical, regular politics. And you know what? When is the next election coming up? And 
I believe it will be in November, but you can put will your you, name you, on the you, ballot. Are, are you, are you, are you, are you um, attempting to be on the ballot in November by collecting the necessary, necessary signatures? Oh, definitely. As a matter of fact, you can, the earliest time you can get on the put your name up in the running is next month. And I'll be on the, in the running next month. Okay. Soon as they, the first day. What date? Decide, so people, because people will be. I don't know the actual day, but I know it's in April. It's in April of what year? Because people. This year. 2019. Yes, next month. Okay. Well, April 2019. Do you think you have enough time, and how will you handle challenges? Well, once I've already you collect been. signatures, okay. there are lawyers that attempt to get you knocked off the ballot, and if he is in bed with Whirlpool that has so much capital, how will you navigate through this minefield to well, get not even get knocked off the ballot? Well, with signatures. Um, actually, I've been uh, already tapping at them because I've been protesting in the city. I went down to, to, to City Hall mm -hmm. uh, and I got a permit to go and protest against the Out Center. I talked about that earlier. Okay. Out Center, the homosexual center okay. in the city that okay. was set up and established by these Europeans and by this individual that we think is a woman named Mary Jo Schneer, which is a whole man. Got one of these too. Okay. <laughs> got a whole one of these that's mm -hmm. supposed to be a woman. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I've been, and they are tapped in with Whirlpool. Whirlpool is a sponsor of this place. So by me going and attacking them, it gets Whirlpool's attention. They already know that I'm around. I done done this twice. Okay. Every time I put the videos on YouTube, What was the vote tally? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, you're talking about the protest. I'm yeah, sorry. the protest. Every okay. time, every, and I put the video, the videos up on the internet right now, but they always taking them down, or, you know, trying to stop the disabled comments. People can't share the videos, stuff like that of me going down there. But the person named Mary Jo Schneel, which is in charge of the Out Center, the founder who was over the youth, who told me out of its own mouth that children have feelings of love too. Okay. This individual, that's the one that's in charge of everything. They told me, like I said, they told me out of their own mouth that children have feelings of love. So I'm like, wow, this is really deep. I don't think our people really know the connection that the corporations have with pushing homosexuality to our children. So, by, and it's been in the newspaper. They put an ad in the newspaper against me. They say they was a victim of hate speech because of me. Mm. Because of me speaking out against like homosexuality. Like Dr. Khaled Muhammad, go ahead. Of right. The nation of Islam. But Bingo, okay. right, right. But I'll go back to the, qu the question is, how will you navigate through a minefield that they will be working night and day to challenge your signatures that you need to collect? To run for office. How would you navigate? It's gonna. I think it's gonna take the people to really stand up. Cause my campaign is gonna be. Uh, they have a slogan. They always have a slogan. Right? Okay. Mine would be the rise of the black Messiah. Okay. So if anybody jump on the bandwagon with me, they're gonna have to be down 100. percent So you're gonna get more signatures to, than there was necessary to get on the ballot. I'm pretty sure I, I have way more signatures than necessary because basically my my thought process is to give the control of the people. Give the people, give that back to the people. Give the people the control of their lives. Why do politicians get a chance to control everything that goes on? You got these cities, you got these, when the houses get torn down in our cities, why don't we build up, why don't we put cherry trees there in the place of that? Why don't we put peach trees there? Why don't we grow some food there so we can feed the people in these areas? All these cities, these houses blocked off, tore down, and then nothing goes there because the Europeans just want to just come through and, and destroy everything you've been building. So you have to be creative in how you deal with it. And we don't even need Europeans. We don't need none of their money, none of their sponsorship, none of that. The houses and the buildings are already there. They're already structured. Would you say that the, you say, would you say that the current mayor is corrupt? I would say politics in general in that city is corrupt. Is and he corrupt? Involved. Say, is he corrupt? I wouldn't say I don't, I don't know if I want to say corrupt, but I would say that I don't believe he is there for the indigenous people like we tried to put him there. The position that we put Marcus in, the people that put him in there, he's not living up to that position. So, yes, he would be corrupt. If you, I guess if you look at a tree uh, with the fruit, I mentioned trees, mm -hmm. right? I guess he would have to be corrupt fruit. Mm. So as you go through this campaign, will there be de where, where will debates possibly take place, and do you need volunteers at this particular time to help you in your endeavor 
to become mayor Definitely. of this city. Definitely. Need How volunteers. do they get in contact with you? And what type of volunteers do you need? Just give us the general information. Okay, well, they can call me at 269 849 5127. Or you can email me at Dawa Yisrael at yahoo.com. That's D A W A H Y I S R A E L at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. What type of staff do you need? And do you already have a staff already? I don't have a staff, but I do have some people that have told me that they will be willing. That's some of the sisters whose sons have been killed okay. in the city. You know, one young brother, he went to jail and he ended up dead. Just went to the county, he ended up dead. They don't want to tell her, the mother what happened. So these women have said they would be willing to step up to the plate with me. But then again, the people have been so afraid because uh, after Karate was killed, uh, the, the, the state, the, the, the SWAT team and everything was on his same street intimidating his mother the day of the funeral. So people are afraid. Like the brother was talking the other week's lives. People are afraid. Like you mentioned, people are really afraid to come out and say something because they think we, they, you know, they're gonna take our lives. But the mm -hmm. fear is the thing that keeps us uh, in a place where we cannot rise. What I would like to ask you, you know what? When you're running for office, you need a big, would you perceive that you need a big war chest? You need money to buy advertisements, mm -hmm. to buy flyers. How did you and your organization, how did y'all battle against a multi-million dollar corporation? You see a whirlpool that wants to control and they do control that community. How did you battle against a conglomerate, a giant? Mm -hmm. How? Well, the only thing <laughs> I, I think that my what I've been doing is quite effective because of the negative ads, the negative articles they run in the newspaper about me. Okay. That lets me know that I'm getting. Give us an example with some of the articles. Well, the article uh, about the hate speech. There was like two or three different articles. Okay. That this lady, this person, Mary Jo Schneel, they went to the newspaper, that the regular newspaper. What's the newspaper's Her name? The Herald Palladium. Okay. The Herald Palladium. Matter of fact, you can look up the Herald Palladium, Brother Dawa okay. protest, the Herald Palladium, and you'll find it. You see, I protested there last year, and um, the way the article was written, you know, lock your doors and all this. They were trying to, this, this person was trying to make them think the whole city, the whole area, and all the surrounding cities, that I am some monster. They all, you, you gotta see the video, brother, the video is crazy. All these people show up, right? These European, these homosexuals, they show up, they, they banging on, clanging on garbage can tops. They trying to drown me out, the words I'm speaking. I just went down there with what I speak out of my mouth. No bullhorn, none of that. They was down there singing songs and everything, trying to protest against what I'm saying, trying to stop me from speaking. So, we don't even need money to deal with these monsters. That's the thing. <laughs> All we need is the intellect and the word. You know, they didn't kill Dr. King because he had a whole bunch of money. Okay. It's the words that came out of his mouth. Malcolm. When you start verbal, and Malcolm, when you start verbalizing and articulating these words a certain way, that's what makes them afraid. I didn't think about that. And you know what, there, there's something else. You're saying that they mischaracterize you in the newspaper. Yeah, in the newspaper. You, and because to, they mischaracterize you, I gave you a character assassination, right? a high tech lynching. Right. Did you put forth any type of litigation? Not any. Why not? <laughs> because, because it didn't stick. The FBI came to visit me because of it though. The FBI went and knocked, knocked on my door because this person claim I was some type of threat to them. But they got all the money though. See, it's Whirlpool, right? Whirlpool backed them, the hospital backs them, the banks backed them, the realtors back them. Jimmy John's even backs them where I'm in front. Jimmy John backs Alston. Mm. Alston has all these sponsors. Whirlpool, all these people, bro. They millionaires, but yet and still, <laughs> you worry about Brother Dawa coming to do a video coming to protest in front of your business, because you know what they said in the newspaper. You look up the newspaper article, it says in the article, they were afraid that young people would see me down there talking about them in the video, and they wouldn't come to the Out Center, because the thing is, they want the youth. Mm -hmm. See, homosexuals, grown homosexuals, lesbians, and trannies, they die off. They got to recruit. They have to have the youth. And that's the thing, that, that that's the reason why they're there. Mm -hmm. 
So what you're saying is in their pursuit to do, try to make to destroy you with their millions of dollars, what you appear to be saying is they will not be successful because you cannot be successful with falsehood or the truth. Is that what you're saying? Am I misinterpreting what right. you're saying? Even see, <laughs> even that's it. But see, the, and the thing is, we think that a success with their government would be the fact that they're able to do what they do. Mm -hmm. But they're unsuccessful, you see. That's why they have to continue to keep on doing wickedness and evil. Mm -hmm. They have to keep on reinforcing the evil. Because mm -hmm. it ain't natural and it's not supposed to be. They're not winning on no, on no level at all. As long as we remain righteous, we still win, even though it don't look like we win. In the town you live in, like Chicago, is there a code of silence that, the, that possibly the mayor knows about and he's just oblivious to it and doesn't care because it does not affect him? I think he does because I was trying to get on the radio yeah, five minutes in the left. city. Mm -hmm. I was on. I was. I was scheduled to have a radio show. I paid for it and everything, and I went and I talked to the person that that, that runs this house and this Mary Jo Snell, this man. I went to talk to them and told them I wanted to come on the radio, them to come on and state their position. Why should black people allow you to be in our city? It's predominantly black and push homosexuality and lesbianism when that's not our way of doing things. This is what I was saying to mm -hmm. them. They didn't want to come on. Mm -hmm. The politics of the city is that they don't have to, they, they can say whatever they want to. They don't have to come on in the race. And, and, the, and the, okay, the Out Center, the, the, the City Hall, and the radio station is all within three to three minutes walking distance, put it like that. So he knows everything. And you're saying that the current mayor that you want to, you want to remove and put, you know, have be voted in, he is under the tutelage of white folks. Oh, most definitely. Heard? He works at Toyota. But he's the mayor. They won't pay this man. It was an article in the newspaper. They won't pay him enough money to take care of his family, so he has to leave office, the office of the mayor, and the office of the city hall, and go work at Toyota. So you're attempting to free the people. Is, is that that's what I think? Exactly. <laughs> My people, the humans. Okay. See, human to be a humanitarian, you deal with the folks that got the human. Okay. Okay, now, that's now, who the folks that's do. Now you know what I want you to, you know, put out a pitch for the people that are, you're gonna run for mayor. So I'm gonna step back, talk to them. Okay. Well, um, we come to a point where Europeans are not gonna allow us to have no freedom. That's just what it is. Period. Anybody that's standing before you that wants your vote, if they're not ready to give you access to your own water access to your own, uh, to, to fresh air, and to food where you control, and you already, why we gotta pay more, because all that stuff's supposed to be, we have to detach away from everything Europeans and Jews have given us, and go back to simple living, simplicity. That's all I wanna take people back to. Going out and enjoying, taking your son out, your daughter out for a nice walk, you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature, we gotta come out of, Wanting to live in rat race, the holidays, and celebrating the holidays, and following the so-called Joneses, and trying to get your degrees. Look at people got degrees, and you ain't even got a job. All of what they've been giving you is a farce. It's a lie. Politics have to change totally. And you will not be under the tutelage no. of white folks like the current mayor. No. What's his name again? Marcus Muhammad. Okay, and you're looking for volunteers yes. to give your information. Please. Okay, you can reach me at 269-849-5127, 269-849-5127, or Dawa Yisrael at yahoo.com. That's D-A-W-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L at yahoo.com. Do, do they have to live in Michigan no. to help you? Are no. they Can they be? So basically, you're looking for help for any right-minded African-American or right-minded people, right. no matter right. who they are, if right. they want to help you in your campaign am i right am i right right and even those who think i shouldn't run i want to hear all my people's opinions so i can weigh it out the bible the scripture says where well, there are many counselors and much wisdom at that you have you can get the right answer okay will you so, be holding town home meetings oh, well, this time hall meetings yes in yes. what's the city again benton harbor michigan benton harbor michigan okay okay we gotta go and you know what? I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to interview. It's been such a long time, brother. <laughs> slow. And you know Always what? You, respect. you too, brother. It's slow. And, Slam alaikum. You know what? Y'all will be getting a great 
a great mayor, you know, what given an opportunity and I'm ready to start up because he said the current mayor is under the tutelage of white folks and he's trying to free you from the bondage that you that you in. Shalom, brother. Come like on. Uh, bro, well, I think when I was when I was thinking, I said, wait a minute.